Okay, haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, a COVID-19 story, but uh, several people have sent me one of these stories, so I went back and looked it up. And I think this is something that might be a scandal is getting Cuomo, Governor Cuomo of New York, into a little bit of hot water. But we talked about this back in March and April in New York City where they were undercounting the amount of people dying from COVID. So I'm going to read this and give a little bit of commentary on the other side. Democrat slam lying Andrew Cuomo over COVID-19 nursing home scandal. Fellow Democratic legislators in New York weren't buying Governor Andrew Cuomo's explanation Monday as to why he refused for months to release the true account of nursing home residents who died from coronavirus. Assemblyman Ron Kim, Democrat Queens, whose uncle died from COVID-19, bluntly said that all of it is BS and a cover-up. They could have given us the information back in May and June of last year, as I was saying. They chose not to, Kim said, after hearing Cuomo was blaming the Department of Justice probe for delays in releasing the accurate coronavirus death tally of nursing home residents. Cuomo cited an exclusive August 26, 2020 story in the Post that broke the news about the DOJ inquiry into his administration's nursing home admission policy and the undercounting of deaths claiming Albany legislators should have known about the probe based on that report. Kim said lawmakers could have passed laws to tighten up accountability and liability in nursing homes to save lives if they had the information sooner. Kim also said Cuomo's comments Monday don't square with what top aide Melissa DeRosa told him and other legislatures during private meetings last week. She said former President Donald Trump made the issue a political football and claimed that as an excuse for withholding the nursing home data. The Post first reported on her explosive remarks after obtaining an audio recording of the meeting. And we basically froze, DeRosa said. She talked about the potential that the information would be weaponized against them. DeRosa needs to be accountable for what she said, Kim insisted. She implicated all of us in this cover-up. Cuomo defended the system for counting nursing home COVID deaths in July 2020. I think the Post did a story on that. DeRosa on Friday issued a statement mirroring what the governor said Monday that the administration was dealing with federal probers before it would release more detailed nursing home data to state legislators and public data. Meanwhile, Senator Alessandro Biaghi, Democrat Bronx, challenged Cuomo's assertion that his team informed lawmakers that it would delay release of nursing home fatality data because of the federal probe. No, at New York, Gov Cuomo, you did not tell the entire state or assembly that there was a DOJ investigation as a reason why you didn't share the nursing home numbers, Biagi said in a tweet. Cuomo callously addresses COVID nursing home report, who cares? I found out about a DOJ investigation with the rest of the New Yorkers in the New York Post story Thursday night, she said. State Senator Julia Salazar claimed Cuomo was lying. If the governor had actually informed the legislator months ago that his office was withholding data they had on total nursing home deaths, there would have been no need for them to have a call with a group of legislators last week to inform them of this for the first time, she tweeted. Governor can claim, as he's done, that they withheld the data because they thought it would be used against them by the DOJ, but claiming they informed the legislators is a lie on top of a lie. If he'd been honest in the first place, he may have had one bad news cycle. But now, State Senator John Liu also said the federal probe wasn't an excuse for months 
and months of delays in misleading or withholding information that the public deserves to know. He said he will back legislation curbing the governor's emergency powers because of Cuomo's fumbling of the nursing home issue. The status quo can't remain. There needs to be a revocation of some of the governor's emergency powers, Lou said on the Fox News channel. For months and months, we've been asking the executive branch, the governor's office, for this information. It was information our constituents were demanding from the state government. Lou said he was particularly disturbed by the state attorney general Letitia James' damning report on nursing homes released last month that found that Cuomo's health department lowballed the COVID death rate of residents by 50% by excluding people who died in hospitals. Wow, by 50%. They had said it was 20%. Jesus Christ. Hours after the report, Team Cuomo started to come clean by releasing more accurate data that increased the COVID-19 nursing home death tally by nearly 4,000. They had done that before. They had done that, uh, I think it was May. They had released data that increased, I think it was like 3,000. So this is not the first time. Senate GOP Minority Leader Robert Ort said Republicans were never notified by Cuomo's office about the DOJ probe and request for time to release nursing home data. People want the truth and the only way that can be provided is through investigations by the Department of Justice and the Attorney General, or it said. A state judge on February 3rd ruled that Cuomo illegally withheld COVID-19 nursing home data from the Empire Center for Public Policy and ordered it released. The Watchdog Group filed a legal request for the information that was stonewalled for six months before the judge ordered the administration to begin releasing it. The Empire Center's Bill Hammond said Cuomo's hiding before the DOJ probe to sit on a true accounting of nursing home deaths doesn't hold water. Cuomo and his administration was fighting the release of the data before and after the DOJ probe. It's not plausible that they couldn't cooperate with the DOJ and provide information to legislators and the public, he said. I've been saying for months, months and months and months, that all states have been undercounting the numbers of people dying of COVID. In fact, at NYC wasn't even testing people that they were burying for COVID. So there is no accurate account as far as how many people died. They've been doing excess death studies for the last year and the excess deaths are anywhere from 12 to 20 percent over normal expected amount even in a lockdown where people aren't as mobile there's been more deaths so people keep saying that they're they're exaggerating the numbers and they're exaggerating the totals and they're not testing and and they're uh, changing death certificates they're very strict on covid after a year and having family members that have gone through this stuff and have been tested, they do test. You do not get a COVID case without a test. You know, you can't get a COVID death without a test. Uh, the CDC has been very strict about this. Uh, they say it's no worse than the flu. Flus are estimated. They don't, everybody that says they have the flu or every flu case doesn't have a test to go along with it. And that's been that way for 50 years. Even now, uh, they don't really test you for flu. The only reason you, the only reason the flu numbers are being tested now is because if you come in with symptoms, they test you for COVID and the flu. In fact, they test for the flu now more than they ever did because of COVID-19. So everybody that keeps saying that they've overcounted the numbers and they're trying to use COVID-19 for some nefarious uh, scheme, it's coming out that it's not true. In fact, I, I said it a long time ago, they would do the opposite because it made more sense. And right now they're doing the opposite because it makes more sense. It makes more sense to undercount the dead, especially when you need people back to work, back at school, all that kind of stuff, especially after you lock down. Once you lock down and say COVID-19 was this, this and so, then you have to double down on your shit when the numbers go up. I can attest to you about COVID-19, okay? It ain't no joke. It does kill people. We, we've had at least 10 prominent people in the last two weeks in Los Angeles die of COVID. So wh whatever effect that you think it, it is having or not having, COVID-19 is no joke. They're not lying, okay? 
In fact, they're like I said, they're undercounting the numbers in COVID-19. All countries undercount the numbers because they need you back at work. They don't want to tell you how bad it is. Now, is it the worst disease that's ever hit mankind? No. Could they have overreacted by locking down the countries? Possibly. But at the end of the day, I've been telling you they've been undercounting these numbers. They've been cooking the books. Florida put a woman in jail because she was using accurate numbers and the governor was undercounting and she was embarrassing him. So they put her in jail. Texas, Georgia, Florida, I think it was Arizona for one minute, Nevada. California is the only state that really hasn't got caught undercounting numbers. But I believe they do that too. But I just wanted to drop this real quick because I thought it was important. I've been hearing about Cuomo for the last two, three days. I think they're even thinking about recalling Cuomo because of this. This is critical, man. I mean, this is straight up lies, especially during a... Um, an event like this, an earth shattering event like this, and you can't be bullshitting and lying like that, man. But they do. They play politics 24 7, whether it's important or not. But anyway, that's all I got for this one. This is BGS out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.